Hey everyone, in this video we're going to try out the new Udemon Willpower Dungeon um, Udemon slash Willpower because uh, both can join So um, let's pop into the Outlands I may lag on this server, it's, it's a laggy server uh, So bear with it Titan City and here we have the Endless Abyss and the article is already on um, my uh, my site a, a while ago, so um, you can check out the guide here, and maybe during the video I'll refer to it. Um, but it's already there, and so are other uh, patch 7.0 um, articles and a lot, a lot more. So first thing we got a window and it's uh, broken up by four parts according to the guide and uh, over here is going to be the bosses uh, to challenge on the first round over here is the level obviously um, so there's um, and over here is the Udemon selection where three of them are going to be fighting on auto um, on autopilot auto automatically uh, whichever word you want to use and uh, you will only be able to control one of them so um, we got to make sure we set um, the formation correctly because for example uh, I should put the um, angel of light and not the void because I didn't upgrade him and so here we can see different um, I don't know if these are bosses or levels or battles but it's supposed to be a number of fights and then a boss um, I think so we have here Philippe Ender Magica, Jersey, Faye, Iris, so I guess these are just automatically generated names or I don't know. So we have best record here level 0. Um, challenge will start the battle and I think once you start you won't be able to change formation and this is probably, I'm guessing, the formation button, although it's a set willpower, it probably means set formation. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, make sure we take the correct uh, four uh, two demons and uh, we will have the angel of light on the front row for two reasons one I think he is uh, physically the strongest so he can take more damage I think and um, but he cannot heal so that's why I'll have um, my bell oracle who will do um, some damage and healing um, I gave Battle Oracle both uh, the healing skills because I'm not sure if your health comes back in this dungeon, we will see that together. Um, but if it doesn't, um, it's important to heal. So I gave everybody whatever healing they could. And the other two I will use, um, I haven't upgraded a lot of these and um, I don't have time to. So we're gonna use uh, our little guy here, a little tough guy. And um, I'm just wondering if I should put him in the front row. Let's put him in the front row. And um, we're also going to use the blood demon. The, uh, all the rest I didn't, I didn't upgrade. I didn't have time. Um, I was clicking fast before this video to prepare at least these two demons so I can have decent battles to show. Um, they should be more or less ready. So um, I think that's it with the formation. I'm just hesitating if um, Angel of Light should be uh, in front alone. Yeah, let's let's do that, and then we can uh, peacefully watch um, his animations and so forth. And actually, let's bring him forward so that uh, he's definitely up front. So that's our formation. He's going to be the one where I control the, the skills and um, the others will do automatic skills. Now um, that's not entirely, um, that's not necessarily the best uh, solution, uh, but I do it this way simply for demonstration purposes. My gut feeling would tell me that I should control the bell oracle so that I can control the healing. Uh, but just for the sake of demonstration and, and showing Angel of Light um, or the new willpower, um, at least one of them, I, I'm going to put him as the control uh, controlling element. So with that said, let's pop into the battle. I'm curious if I can select. Now I'm clicking on these um, other ones. It cannot. So um, I just the only thing I can do is click on challenge. So let's go. 
Now I'm not super familiar with his skills yet because he is brand new um, and it's all new but we're gonna look at it together. I already read them to you before and I wrote um, the article with his skills already. Um, we have to wait for the graphics to load but uh, the first battles are probably easy so uh, we won very quickly on that first one. Now don't judge the um, result for your character based on what you see here because this is um, this is test server and everything is messed up here so um, my character also uh, has high battle rating so because of his high battle rating the Udemons are stronger even if they would be more or less naked so um, we just want to see the mechanics here how it works uh, what do the different buttons do so here now we see um, bosses this round, three bosses to challenge. So apparently I've killed three and these three remain. So let's challenge. Now it's not always four versus one and that's what I want to show here. It changes. So here you see it's three versus three now. And in the end it's going to be um, the, worst, uh, the worst case is when you're alone against four. And that's the the toughest battle so we should we should get to that I'm just gonna pop back uh, to the guide uh, because here it says the sequence so here in gameplay info you can see players can send four you demons at the beginning uh, they need to challenge um, a level seven times before the next difficulty so uh, there, there is a sequence. For the first to fourth challenges, the number of bosses increases gradually from one to four. So we just fought three. So I guess the next one will be four. And then from the fifth to seven, the bosses remain the same, which is four. But the number of you demons gets less and less and less. So uh, with that in mind, I probably have the wrong formation because I gotta make sure that uh, Bell Oracle stays around as much as possible. So um, I guess COM1 is a good thing, it doesn't, um, um, it doesn't necessarily say that COM1 is going to be the next best after the Angel of Light, but I'll just assume so. Um, and then we want him to go out first if necessary, because she can help with area and she can heal better I think. So we're going to continue this way. Now it should be 4 against 4. And I better read some of the angel's uh, skills so that I know what to press. So the first one deals 380% uh, to a random enemy, single target. So second one 400% single front row and increases the crit rate. So angel has a lot of skills that increases crit rate, so it's a damage dealing um, willpower slash you demon so now you see what happened uh, after the victory of that battle uh, we have here um, our frosty uh, colored red now that's not because he died is because the way the system is set up uh, he will not participate in the next battle so now it's going to be uh, three against four I think All right, and then we have a single target um, deals 344% to enemy with the lowest HP and increases crit rate. And this is probably going to be my favorite uh, slasher attacks twice uh, dealing damage. So that's probably pretty good for um, bosses. But you see all his attacks are single target, which is not awesome. So now the blood demon uh, is going to stand aside. And it's going to be two against four but so far for my party it's easy i'm not taking uh, much damage so everybody's at full health attacks twice let's try that one i'm not sure if all the graphics have loaded yet so that's rain of fire um cleaned the floor before the angel had the, had a chance but no problem they'll get stronger and anyhow, he's out now, so Angel is completely alone against four people now.
and as mentioned uh, he he mostly has single target attacks which is horrible against four people and I only was able to give him the his Delphic which hits everybody but of course the Delphic is not ready still he's strong enough a reflect very dangerous so I'm gonna take uh, the one of the weaker skills yeah I, I could kill myself if uh, there are reflect mobs otherwise um, they wouldn't be the ones hurting me I would be the one hurting myself okay so one boss is to challenge level 2 everybody is back to awake and I better get some healing before um, Angel kills himself on reflect so as you see immediately that's uh, that's a very big weakness uh, that uh, Angel of Light has he could literally um, in, you could invest a lot in him to increase his damage uh, but um, he could kill himself that way an interesting observation is the battle started with everybody at full health so perhaps there is no uh, need to heal between battles uh, I mean uh, the the full health is recovered you don't need to um, make sure to, to get the healing working it's not like uh, Road of Glory where the, the health the, the lower health remains So now we're on the increase of the uh, mobs so every level they should increase and now we have three of them next one should be four I'm not sure if angels attacks are slow or there's lag but the other you demons are attacking before the angel that could also be the phenomenon where the auto attack is faster than the human attack because uh, auto attack is immune to lag so 4v4 now and now I managed to go first so that's good Normally the graphics should be loaded by now. Frosty is again red. After this victory, blood should be deactivated. All kind of bosses here. Strong attack but that's the the bit that he is really good against one target he is not good at uh, crowd management now it's two against four I think we will go just uh, to the end of this level because uh, otherwise it will take too long It's very hard to um, um, assess the difficulty. Uh, like I mentioned, don't um, don't immediately take the conclusion that this is easy. Um, but uh, my characters, uh, my character is strong, so um, that's why it may look easier than than it really is. But I do expect that the first levels will definitely be. Um, possible to accomplish if not more than that but uh, we don't know at which uh, speed difficulty increases but what we do know is the maximum level I wrote about it in in my guide here um, there are 32 levels in endless abyss so and um, players can use blitz after they've passed more than one level and it is once once every day uh, that's when it resets all right 
So did we kill him? Yeah, apparently we, we killed it and we came to level 3 uh, where it's going to start all over again. So you get the idea of it. Um, here you can swap around simply the, the your demons that you want um, based on priority. The one which is comb 3 will be the one which will be deactivated first. Then comb 2 will be deactivated. Then comb 1 will be deactivated. And of course the P1, I don't know what P is, but I guess uh, party leader maybe. Uh, or Papa. <laughs> Papa your demon. <laughs> So that's, um, he's not going to, he's always active um, and he's the one that's going to be fighting uh, four people. And um, I still think, um, I still like a Bell Oracle uh, very much. So um, I'm thinking f for my character, I would use him on the first slot because uh, you then, because on the COM1, COM2 and COM3, you can set the skills, but you don't control them. But on P1, uh, you do control the skills so you can choose when to do, uh, let's say, Centuria versus Restoration. Um, whereas the computer might do Restoration when you don't really need to heal somebody. Um, you could have done Centuria and just kept everybody up. Whereas um, a Restoration you'd need like a, in a, as an emergency heal. Um, or if, or if, you, if you're fighting four enemies, you do Domination or Reign of Fire. Um, hitting everybody uh, whereas the computer might do something else so um, so there you have it I think uh, so set willpower will, will put the formation but this is not this is different from this one so in in effect you have to set two formations one is the formation formation that we are familiar with and two is the priority of and here it says willpower this is misleading it's it's you demons basically including the new willpower so uh, one is the formation and one is the priority setting and then challenge will start the battles here you can't click on anything it'll pick automatically which one you will fight here is going to show the level here is going to show how much um, one bosses uh, how many bosses are going to be in the next battle so in in the next one to fight which is the first one of this round there's going to be one boss to kill after you kill this, it's going to say two bosses to challenge, then it's going to say three bosses to challenge, then it's going to say four bosses to challenge, and then uh, your the bosses remain and your, um, your demons start deactivating until the final battle when it's P1 versus 4. And then when you win that, if you win that, it's going to go to level 4. And um, that's it, that's the design of the Endless Abyss. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed my video and my work, please do click on like and subscribe if you did, share with friends, share with other players so that everybody can benefit and please consider to support because everything costs money and time to create and to make and to maintain and to build and um, you can do that uh, by becoming a patron or, or sending a PayPal. Um, but all the links will be in the description for you to refer to and uh, of course you can always visit uh, Dolly Games Warchun blog which is the, the largest uh, Warchun resource on the internet. Uh, so there you have it and there's a ton of things there. So um, bookmark it. Uh, I hope a lot of you have already done probably but just in case you haven't do that. If, there's a free newsletter as well. That you can sign up to and then um, it's automatic it, when the website can see that um, I have written a new article then it'll include it in the next newsletter so um, then you'll be notified and then make sure simply that um, it, when if the email goes to your spam folder make sure to uh, whitelist it and say that this is not spam so that you you receive it otherwise you won't see it and uh, it'll also ask for confirmation for your email so it doesn't just automatically add your email it'll ask you to confirm your email so that everything is legit so that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed everything thanks for watching and have a very nice day